he doesn't know what to do. Or the simple reading, like some, is don't cause a blind person to trip. He's talking either. But why is the fneiver? How do you touch the word either? In all of our cases, we cause them to do an aver. So if you look at the Rambam and Pirish Mishnayis in Masech Tashviyas Perkei, Mishnah Bob, we'll soon see that's one of the Yisoidus of Lefneiva. The Rambam says, Hakavana Bezeh, that is, Ivrasoi Oise Hataiva Vadeis Rois. He's taka, not blind. He's a pretty smart person. But when you're giving him Avera, he becomes blind. He's blinded by the Taiva to do an Avera. And that's the oldest truth. When someone has a taiva, and it can't be he's wrong, so he justifies it, he, he's, you know, he, he doesn't see the truth. If you look at the Rebbeinu Sajigah in Loisa, say, Nun Hei, he describes the Fneiva, which is like, Meturaf. Now, if you know modern Hebrew, Meturaf is like the worst accusation. I'm a shugana. When someone is faced with an Avera, he's like sort of a temporary insanity. He's like brain dead. <laughs> He doesn't see the truth. Now, why do I stress this? Because someone asked me, I don't get this whole of Naiva. He doesn't have a Tubyachata, Vizigud Mangan, it's my problem. I mean, Divai Rabba, Divai Tamba, Divai Mishayim. Why am I guilty? Because he's doing an Aveira. So the embassy says, of course, of course, a hundred times, it's not an excuse for the other person. He doesn't have a he has to pay the price. But Lamaisa, that's a lifnei eva. You have to realize at that point, when the person is being given opportunity to avera, he loses his mind. He's an eva, he's a maturaf, and avada, he's wrong. But giving someone a michshal, the machshal is also wrong. Look at him like an evach, look at him like a maturaf, like an eva. And that's really a little of understanding of Lifna'i. It's not an excuse for the other person, but you are playing a big role in his Avera. But be that as it may, we see Lifna'i is Negea to a Yid, and even to a guy, what's also to him. Now, how do we approach our Shailas? So let me tell you a Mishnah in Shviyas that I mentioned earlier, Perike Mishnah Vav. Where the Mishnah says, during the, the year of Shviyas, you know, I'll do any Malacha on the fields, you know, let us sell to another yid, any keli that's used for plowing. Machresha v'chol keleha. Why? Lefneiva, what's he, what's he doing with it? Why is he buying a plow? He's probably going to plow, which is the raisa. But, you're allowed to sell him, the Mishnah gives is an example, a magal yad, a sickle, or a agola, a wagon. Why is that mutter? So the Mishnah says, Zeaklau. Whatever is used only for an Issa, like plowing, that's the Fneiva. If it can be used for Heta, it's okay, you'll have to sell it. Obviously, a wagon could be used for Issa, but also for Heta. A sickle, and the first time explained, could be used to cut Hefka, which is Mutan Shviyas. So here we see if it's Klisha Malach to Issa, it's awesome. The question is, in Ilchaz Muktza, I understand, Klish Malachta Issa plays a role. But how could I sell him? It's at least a suffix, Lifneiva. But the Emma says the Mishnah has even a bigger kasha. Beishamai says, you're not allowed to sell a parach hayresh to another yid. And Beishil is Mekel. Why is Beishil a Mekel? Because he might shecht it. What do you mean, he might check it? But he might use it to plow. It's a parachai reshes. So here, l'chayra, we see suffolk with naive is muta. That's why I have to understand it. Otherwise, why could you sell a plow, a, plow, a, a, a wagon, or a parachai reshes? And taka, the, the, we look in the Mishtari Shaina, one of the first of the who taka asked this kasha. Why is the tzveka the rais of the chumra? So maybe Taka the Mashmoyis is that there's no such concept of Sveik the Rais the Chumar by Lifneiva. And the Emes is, if you look in the Chuvis of the Pnei Yeshua, that's the Zayda of the original of our Pnei Yeshua, in, in Yeridea Sim and Gimel, he Taka says, Safak Lifneiva is Muta. But the truth is, it's not a from this Mishnah. 
Because indeed the Rav, one of the Rishayim, Taka asks, why is it mutter to sell him a wagon or sell a parach reshes? So he used a very key word that's called tlia. In other words, you have a right to assume that he's using the wagon for heta. Now, what he means to say is a very gishmaka yisoid. Sofik could be his asa kusveka the raisa lechumra. But the aleph of the issa is loisitein michsho. Giving wine, giving lashon hara, bittel toira, eva menachai is a chafta de isura. Giving a wagon, that's not a michsho. He could use it to, to give his children a ride. Nor was he used it for Issa, Iu de Machsho Alatzmoy. In other words, all the case of Naiva is you're giving a Michsho. If it's a Kli Malachta Ila Issa, Michsho. Kli Malachta Ila Issa Laheta, it's not a Michsho. So, in other words, when there's a Tlia, it's not the Maisa Issa. In a certain sense, it's like throwing Pekluch and saying, maybe someone's going to eat before Kiddush. I mean, that's going too far. There's got to be a point of accountability. You know, like we said earlier, I give someone an Issa and why am I over? He does an Issa, I'm over. The Teretz is, if you give him something that's Issa, that's Laisit and Michsho. But if it's not Meyuchid Issa necessarily, we'll say, you the Machshel al You know, the buck stops here, like say in America. Accountability. So that's the chayr de pshat in Tlia. Not because it's suffic, because you're not giving a michshel, so it's not laisit and michshel. But there's a different source that we could find regarding a suffic. In the Dharma of Samach Beis, the Mark tells the story of Ashi, had a big forest, and he sold the wood to a base, avoid this kichavim, to a tumma, to a church. So Ravina says, what are you doing? Lefneiva, you can't help a guy do avoid the Zara. A guy is also to do avoid the Zara. So, so Ravashi responded, Rive of the wood is not used for Avoy Dezor. Rive is for soccer. Oh, I, there's a suffix. Why don't we say Svek the Rice in the Chumrah? Maybe there's a riot that there's no Issa al Suffolk. But again, it's not a riot because if you look in the Ran, on that Gemara, the Ran says you could be toilet with the Heta. No, once you have Tlia. That's why it's mutter. But as I told you earlier, the Pnei Yeshua in the Tshuvas Yeredeya, Simon Gimel, and actually the Ritvon of the Zorad of Tezvava Mebeis, spells it out. It seems that Lefneiva Misafik is mutter. Maybe it's a form of Tliya. Woe be the Hezva, it's not a Maisa Michshom. But before we apply this to Maisa, we have to learn important Gemara or two. In my cotton daf Yudzai, and as we'll soon see, a big part of Afneiva, the Gemara says an interesting story. The Amsa the Rebbe, if you remember this Amsa the Rebbe from Shah, she was a pretty big mandama. She was the one that passed in Shailas, and she would tight, knew tight words. Very interesting, and sound the woman. But anyhow, she once saw, saw a man hitting his older son. So she says, I'm gonna, we have to put you in Cherem, because you're Ivan Afneiva. Now, why can you hit your son? Isn't that part of the Chiv of Chinuch? So the Morris says, Where do we stick off of Naiva? The Tanya, with Naiva, I see it in Michshel, the Makal of Nai God, like Kosovo Daber. The Pasuk of Naiva is talking about hitting an older son. And this is Pasuk in Yeridea, Reish Mem, Siv Chav. A person hits his older child, he's over with Naiva. Why? So the Morris explains, I'm sorry, Rashi explains the key in the Godel, who is already a big boy. Shema Mavit Ba'aviv, the Havala Iyu Machshiloi. He's being Machshil, his son, in the terrible Avera of uh, disrespecting parents, or, or, or Makla Aviv, he might probably. Did you notice the Lashon of Rashi? Shema is Mashma, even Shema is awesome. And I'll tell you another Gemara, another key Gemara in Bav Metziah, that I inhale with Beis. If someone loans money to someone else without aiding, he's Ivan the Fneiva. I did a mitzvah the rice, I gave Alva. So Rashi says, Sha'ila al Ruchai, Shaloiva Lichpar. Because the person says, hey, he doesn't have Aidim, he doesn't have a star, I'll deny it. 
And it's, it's a plea why we lend money, sometimes without Adim, this Gepaskin in Yechai Shemish with Simen Ay and Sif Aleph. But we see a second source, even Misafik, is Asa. And the third source, we'll soon see also a key Gemara in Kedushan Lamed Beis, Rav Huna once tore up something in front of his son, Rabba, to see if he's going to get angry. He was giving him a test in Midas. So, Frank the Gemara, but, what, but if he gets angry, you being over on Lefneiva. So the Mara says he was Meichel on his God before he did it. But otherwise, without that fact, it would be Lefneiva. So here we see three Gemaras, Lefneiva is Asami Safik. I, we saw the Pene Yeshua, the Ritva says, Safik is Mutta. So to do this right, I want to be honest, you probably need a share or two to go through the whole Sug and all the Eon. But we have a big agenda. But I'll tell you a beautiful Kosova Shlishi V'achriya Beinehim. The Heilige Chafetz Chaim in Chafetz Chaim, the beginning of Klal Tess, quotes both Rambam and Rebbeinu Yoyna that say the Pshat in the Issa of Avak Loshen Hora, the Moran Erechin, is when you speak good about someone in front of his Soyna. Because the person will not just sit quietly, he might pipe up and say, hey, uh, well, what about this and this? And that's Avak Loshen Hora. Frek de Chavetz Chaim, wait a minute, let's hear that again. He might pipe up and say Lashen Hara, and therefore it's a Vak Lashen Hara. And what about Lifneiva? And the Chavetz Chaim asks him our Gemaras. The Gemara that we mentioned in Ma'id Kot and Yud Zayin, the Gemara in Bava Metzia, that says Shema is also Alz Lifneiva. So why is this case different? So the Heilige Chavetz Chaim, that the difference is if it's a vadai or karv levadai or a real suffolk. A real suffolk is takamuta. There's no lefneiva. But the case of bamitsia and the case of moid katan is karv levadai. Now the Chavetz Chaim is not masbir, but I think he means it like we said. If it's only a suffolk that he might do an avera, it doesn't qualify to be a michshel. So you're not giving a michshel. Ah, he did a terrible avera. That's his problem, not mine. The issue is Laisitain Miksho by an Iver. So the Chavetz Chaim is Magdir that a Vada is Lefneiva. Karv Levada is also. Safik is Mutta. In other words, Bava Metzia and Mayit Katan is Karv Levada. The case that the Sainim I pipe up is, is only a Safik. Safik is not Lefneiva. So we're going to say the following, Taka, and then it says, there's a beautiful stay, Chemed, Marech, Zvav, Chavav, Yud, and the Tzitz, Eliezer, Chelek, Dalet, Simen, Hey, Peri, Gimel, discusses the Barichas. Again, there's more than what I'm telling you, but I think I'm comfortable to say, and we'll soon see also the Mishtebura in Simen, Kuf, Samach, Gimel, that Taka says, on a regular Sophic Lifneiva, it's not also. I, Sveika, the Raisa, Sveika, the Raisa is Shaykh when there's a Maisa Issa. If it's a suffix, it's not a mikshel, it's not a maise isa. Now, lamaisa, I want to add a little gishmak. Let's say I give someone a, a situation that it's carved levade that he won't do an avera. So, avada is mutter. But my mazel, the person does an avera. Am I evil of naiva? Absolutely not. I did an avera. There it is, that's his problem. I didn't, I didn't give a mikshel. Well, that's the heta, the hezba of a suffix. Sophic is not an Asinas Mikshel. Now, before we apply this more specifically, I must mention one term that we hear our mouth thrown around, and that is Haliteu the Rosh of Yamais, which sounds like just give, the, give him the Avera and let him do an Avera and let him die from the Avera. Now, that's misquoted, and let me explain. The source of this Nusach is a Murmba of a Kama Dafsamach Tes that basically someone has growing in his fields orla or nectar revai, that's obviously also to eat. So the question is, she put up a sign, beware, don't eat orla or nectar revai. Says, why are you doing that? Who's taking you a field without rishus? A ganif? Halitei l'rosh v'yamais. Let him eat. Let him be oiva. Zok gemara. If it's shvi is that people ought to help themselves, put up a sign. But in a regular year, why are you going to put up a sign? Don't, don't take my. No, he's a from a ganif. He'll steal, but not, he won't eat the arla. Now, that is a Gemara.
But it's not pshat, give him is to let him be oiva, chas to show him. You're not giving him anything. The word halitehu in that context is a shem musho. It means he's doing an avera, let him. In other words, there's no nesinas michshel. I didn't give him a michshel. I'm growing a, a, a tree. That's a michshel. The chazenish in the Mai, Perik, Simon Ches, Sif Kot, and Tess, he says, the Hezbo of Aitele Rush, like I told you, if he's taking Be'isa, I'm not being Machshalim. I'm Machshalim to put up a sign, Gan, if this is worse, don't touch it. So it's not like, you know, let him be Oiva and give him Chas V'Shalom. If he's doing it and I'm not doing it in my Samichshal, it's not Loisi Ten Michshal. In other words, as every bard in the Torah, it's, the Lefneiva is not unreasonable. It's not out of control. Like I, whatever he does is my problem. If I give him a Michshal, that's a problem with Lefneiva. So let's apply it to Lemaisa. Let me start with the common Shaila because it's the cause of a lot of Agbas Nefesh. Someone comes late to davening, to Mincha, and the last one in, of course, where does he daven? Shmaneser, by the door. So after Shman, everybody finishes Shmaneser, the davening, they walk out and they walk by someone that davens, davening Shmaneser. Now this is an Issa Chomer in Shechon Arach, Simon Kuv Beis. Now they walk someone down Shmaneser, based on a Pesach in the Shmuel. So the person that stands by the door is Oiva Lefneiva. He's causing people to be Nichshal in an Issa of walking in front of a Mispala. Now, the Shibali Halek, one of the Rishonim, in Simon Chafei, he does not spell out Lefneiva, but he says, when you come to Shul late, don't do something that's going to cause the Einish of a Tzibur. But I have no doubt he means Lefneiva. And if you look in the Prima Godem, see if Cotton Aleph, he says, Beferish. You dive in a place that people walk by you, you're causing Mechshel. M- now, generally, the one, those that, you know, last one in are the first ones out. <laughs> So you finish before everybody else does. But if you end up having a long Shemayin Esra, so that's Lefneiva. So Davin on the side, don't stare at Sibur. Now one thing I want to add, a good question you might wonder is, wait a second, this is a Chiddush to me. Because I'm not being, the one that's Davin Shemayin Esra and that's bothering someone else, he's not doing Issa Der Aisa. He's being, causing the empty Oiva on Issa Der Abonin of, of Avara Lefnei Amispalo. Where's Lefneiva? Naiva is in Ben Noyach, Eva Menachai, giving wine to a Nazir, Lashon Hara, Bittel Taira. Where's the Naiva by a Drabanan? So the MS is, there are Rayas that there is the Naiva by a Drabanan. Zog the Minchas Chenech and Simon Reish Lamed Bey is a golden avort. If I give someone a bad advice, that's one of the Pshatim in the Issa, I'm Ivan Issa the Raisa. If I give someone Issa the Rabbanan, that's the worst advice you could give someone. So it's not worse than eight to shayna Genes, and giving an eight and giving causing someone isa the rabbanon is lefneiva the raisa, and that's the sheet of other achreinim. There rugas a boysim and a tshuva. Like there, Islam and he says this. So it comes out like this minchas chinech a novelty. The machshil is worse than the nichshil. The nichshil is doing an isa the rabbanon, and the machshil gets a bargain at the raisa lefneiva. Okay. Now, the mice the prima godam and kufsa mach gimbal seed cotton bays, the chem and reaches vov, chavov, chavalev, says, no, it's taka lifne eva, but lifne eva de rabbonon. Because I guess he holds it can't be worse than the nichshul. But all agree being machshul someone in a de rabbonon is at least lifne eva de rabbonon, if not, and lifne eva de rice. And this explains another, one of the key Yisoydes Lefneiva in Shechon Aruch. In Shechon Aruch it's twice. The end of Kuf Samach Gimel, in Archaim, and, and Kuf Samach Tes. And that is the very challenging issue. We once discussed this by Rich, as it was tape 898, and I'm not going to repeat it, but I want to mention one point. Giving food to someone who will not make a bracha, or giving bread to someone who won't wash the tilas yadayim. The Shulchan Aruch, Machabe, and Ramok, based on Rishonim, say that's an Issa of Lifnei Eva. Because he's eating without a bracha, he's eating without Natil Sadayim. Ay, Natil Sadayim, and a bracha is only the Rabbanan. So that's our Yisoy, there's still Lifnei Eva. <clears throat> the point I want to add is if you look at the Machabe's Lashin and the Ramok, they both say the same thing, but with one very obvious chilek. The Mechabah says, don't give someone food unless you sure will make a bracha. The Ramah, however, says, don't give someone t- bread if you know he won't wash. 
Do you notice the nuance? Zagta Mishtabura, light the Mechaba, it's Asa unless you know for sure that he'll make a bracha or wash. In other words, Safik Lifneiva is Asa. Zagta Mishtabura, but from the Ramah, and he says that's the, uh, the sheet of Magan Avram and Chay Adam, the Issa is if you're certain he won't wash or make a bracha. But if it's a Safik, forgive him. So that's the Mishtabura and Kufsa Machgimel, Sif Kat Nyanal with the Sharetziyan. And again, in Kufsa Machtes, the Mishtabura does seem to paskin Safik Lifnaiv is Mutta. That's like we said, the Hezbriz is not on a Sinas Michshel. So that's why Bederech Klal, you want to give a gift to a Friar person, avoid giving food items. Give better a Judaic book that it might inspire him. You want to be a sport and put out latkes on Hanukkah or Hamatashim before Purim at your workplace. There are fryer people that are going to take it without making a bracha. Malachol etzar hazois. You're being machshel someone eating without a bracha. We once discussed if a person has to give someone to you, if someone, a guest comes to his house, he has to be a, a, a decent person. So either the eight is, say, I'm going to make a blessing and please respond, Amen. I'll include you. The stipend says, make a shackle and say it includes all foods. Because Bidiyeva, shackle is good. Let's try to avoid this problem. If it comes to a sticky situation, you have to give him food and you're afraid to even broach the subject of a bracha, he's a, he might be offended. So Rabbi Shalom and Chashleim, Chayelik Aleph, Sim and Lamed Hay says an incredible chiddush based on Chayelik Chazaynish that basically the Isil of Naiva is if he doesn't make a bracha, you're causing him to do an Aveira of eating without a bracha. But what happens if the following scenario, imagine this, it's a hot summer, 98 degree weather and there's a, a friar person working, painting your house after three hours, he finally gathers the courage. Could I have a drink of water? He's not asking for soda, just water. You say, no, because you can't, you're not going to make a bracha. That's going to cause a terrible sin as hadas. So by not giving him the food is a bigger mechshel. This is a esterabonin, this is sin as hadas. So you have a guest and you cause a rift, you know, the Jews are very uh, domineering and telling them what to do. You know, if it's going to cause a sin as hadas, then that might be itself a form of lifne even. Okay, that was 898, Ayin Shom, Rosh Ma Shom, Moving on to El Cheshavaz, a very good example of Neiva. Rav Moshe in Chayla Gimel, <coughs> Simon Mem Vav, discusses the common question about mailing letters, Erev Shabbos, is that lifne even? The fact that a guy does it is muta daita denafshe. But Lamaisa, there might be a yid in the post office that's working, that's processing the mail. So Rav Moshe says it's only a miut. She'ein a motzi and taka, there's no isa. But he says maybe it's kedari be machmir. But the truth is, Rav Moshe seems to say it's mutter because it's a mir she'ein a motzi. Today I heard it's even less of a chance of a yid work in the mail in the post office than what it was in those days. Taka, I saw the the Shulchan Arbelski and Shulchan Alevi in, in Perik Dalit Simon Hey actually Shmir Shabbos in Lamed Aleph Chafalev says that we don't have to be chayish as a yid working in the post office. So this would be a case of a Sophic. Roy Vagoyim. Ah, Roy, we saw from based on Yorana Dorim, there's no Isil of Naiva. I saw when I learned a Chiddush Gadol, to get in Eretz Yisrael more often than in Eretz, than America. Let's say I'm crossing the street, I'm walking to Shul, mind my own business. But there's a car that's going to that's also wants to turn into my street. So the way the law is that the pedestrian has the right of way. So the car that wants to turn in my direction is gonna to have to put on the brakes, wait for me to go. So the question is, by me walking, I'm causing a driver, like the Achenu Bnei Yisrael, a Frayid, to slam on the brakes and then start the car again. So the Shmir Shabbos says that indeed, <clears throat> if that's, in this Choftes Ayin Aleph, if it's a Frayid that's going to stop and stop because you went into the street, that's your problem with Naiva. <clears throat> so he says, better let him go first and then cross the street. The Chodshani and Chayel Gimel Ahmed raised your test and Rav Steinman all steined that this is Lefneiva. If you wouldn't be there, he would continue going. Now, the Minchas Asher of Asher Wai, Chayel Gbeis, Simlamid Beis, he has an interesting taina. He says, wait a minute. The truth is that driving is also Mole Malacha is the rice of the combustion. Who said causing the stop and start is more Malacha than going? Now, the Emma says, I spoke to people and I couldn't get too much of information. I need a mechanic, really. But the truth is, the car, every moment the car drives, there's thousands of combustion. Stopping and starting, who said it's takamur? 
Then again, today's cars, and many of them, when you stop, come to a full stop, the engine goes off and goes on again. So we could say, if indeed there's more malachal and the car stops, then you have a problem of naiva. Now, we might have tainted that on this we could say, Hali Taylor, Rosh Hashanah, I'm going to shul, I'm, I'm, going, I'm minding my own business, I'm not telling him to stop. But then again, that's not realistic. You're walking in his path, he has to stop. So the, the michshel is by walking when you could stop. If you just have all the, you know, vatranis and wait till he drives by, you avoid the whole issue. So I could understand why this is not how they tail the Russia. Don't go in his path. The question is in Chutzler, it's when typically it's goyim, but I'm making a goy stop. I'm making a goy dumolach. So that the Shmir Shabbos says, that's not a problem. That's a day to the nafsheh. He doesn't want to run a person down. Maybe he does want him, but he doesn't want to get a ticket. That's Vishu, huh? So that's a day to the nafshe, and that's why it's mutam. My Shahai Ayid used to come to the Shia, told me this story. He was working many years ago. He was working in a certain uh, company. And it was late Friday, and, and, and a long Friday. And he's speaking to a, to a customer in Eretz Yisrael, Ramat Gan. And he realized, it's, wait, I'm not talking. He said, it's 4 o'clock here in America. It must be uh, 11 o'clock in Eretz Yisrael. So he said, Habibi, Slicha, you know, it's, it, it's Shabbat, right? He goes, no, no, I need that tea, don't worry. I, I need chaloni, don't worry. So he was horrified. He's talking to a year on Shabbat. So he hung up the phone. The, a minute later, the phone rings. He picks it up, hello? He goes, chutzpah? <laughs> he was insulted. But it's not a chutzpah. That's a real if naiva. <clears throat> He's talking to a yid on Shabbos, even though for him it's not Shabbos. And that's Pasha, that's the naiva. And that's true whether you're talking to someone Friday when it's in Shabbos or Matzai Shabbos for you when for the Yid it's Shabbos. Any case of talking to a Yid on his Shabbos is a bona fide lefneiva. <clears throat> More of an issue, someone asked, he wants to put in a, or a automatic light, a security light in, his, in front of his home. And the problem is lefneiva because an innocent passerby walks by and all of a sudden he lights up the block when he puts the light on. So the Emmas says, had he put this light on in his workplace, where is Raiv Goyim? We have a Gemara in the Dharam, by Raiv Goyim, there's no problem. <clears throat> but typically in front of a Yiddish home, which is Raiv Yisrael, this seems to be a real Lifneiva. <clears throat> the only possible justification is, in this case, the, walk, the, the passerby is not doing a Maisa, putting on the light. At most, he's what we call a Misasek. He's walking and totally unaware of what's happening. So the shayla is, is there a lefneiva when you cause someone to be a misasik? In other words, when you cause someone, Khalil, to be an oivan aver, bishoigig, that's klar in all the paiskim that that's lefneiva. One of the many rayas, rather, is from one of our gemaras, which is a gemara, which is a shachanarach, if you give a, a shamish, the waiter, bread, it might be lefneiva, that's the Mechab and Kuf Samar Gimel, because the Shamash is very busy and might forget to wash. That's the lotion of, of the Rishonim. I it's only a Shaygig. There is a Shaygig, it's a Mais Aver. Shaygig is so much an Aver that it needs a carbon. So by a Shaygig, there's lefneiva. The question is, Misasig is a notch less than Shaygig. Everybody knows, the more Darsh and the Pasig, Misasig, there's no carbon. So if we there's no carbon, maybe there's no lefneiva. But here we come to that famous Kiva Egez, Tuv, and Simen Ches. Someone asked him, can I, I see someone about to be misasik. I'll give you an example. He's about to open a refrigerator, does not know there's a light that's going to go on. Do I have to stop him? So Kiva Egez quotes in the Karchayim that misasik is not a Maisa Avera. Kiva says emphatically, Chas V'Shalom, misasik is a Maisa Avera, but there's no carbon. And if someone's about to be misasik, stop him. Because he's doing an Aveira. So it's clear, light up Kiva if I have a refrigerator in my house that the light was left on, I can't open it. If I tell someone, would you like to have some soda? Please take. And he's about to be Miss Asse can open the refrigerator. By me telling to do that, I am Oivel of Naiva. Vivaita to Maisa Aveira, less than Shaigig, but not so much less, that would be Miss Asse. I talk to the Archa Shabbos and Chayle Gimel Ahmed Samach Dal has this very question of telling someone to open a refrigerator when the light will go on. He doesn't know about it. He's talking Masasik, but it's still a Maisa Avera. 
<clears throat> so here we see another very dramatic example where the machshel is worse than the nichshel. The nichshel is not even over. I mean, it's, it's not an issa. It's an issa without, a, without a accountability. But the machshel is over on the raisa of lefneiv. Now, the truth is, l'chayra, the same would apply to a automatic light, to a, 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 a security light. Now, I know Ravazna is make of b'chlal with security lights, but like most poisons that putting a light on, walking by and putting a light on is asa, so installing a, a security light that will cause a yit to be misasing and put it on should be this problem of Fneiva. Now a lot was written decades ago, rather, that was the first was written. The place can discuss what they call a chassid shaita. Someone that taped a Rebbe, a Rav, whatever, whether it was a Shalashudis Torah or it was Kol Nidre, they put a tape recorder and the person that was speaking or the person that was davening the Kol Nidre was not aware of it. And they taped, taped the, the speaking that was done on Yom Kippur or Shabbos or Shudas Torah. So the question was, is that tape Asa Because the one that spoke did an Issa. Now grab the someone says, yeah, it's a true story. I have a copy of the tape. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't so Asa But that's where the Shailah first surfaced. And today, I heard the Shailah in Yeshiva. So I wanted to tape the, the Yeshiva Shal Shudas Torah. So it's really, it seems like it's a benign act because Rashiva doesn't know, big deal. But that's wrong. Now we saw Ms. Asik is an Issa, that would be Lifneiva. And it's Pashat Azai. The only thing is you want to say, maybe if it's recording anyhow, so the difference is it's recording nothing or his voice, but there is some increase in current. And Bechlal, it's not, even besides the Issa Shibai, it's definitely lacking in, in Yashri's Ben Al-Machavere, the Rashiva, the Rav, the Rebbe, is an Ish Tzadik, and it's Medagdin, every Kalev Chamura, and you set up a, a thing that he's be, uh, talking into a tape on Shabbos. It's just unthinkable. Shalim Bezalman, I saw a Tshuva, Bixav Yad, in Mora Shabbos, Chayel Dal, Amad Kuf Tzadik Zayin, has this very Shaila, and he says that Lamaisa, this would be an Emerson Misasek, but it's still Asa because there's an Issa of the Fnaiva by Mesasek, and he says, and it's also a Nichole because the person that's speaking doesn't mind the copy of the tape during the week. I mean, well, of course, not on Shabbos. So, this is another example of a Mesasek that is the Fnaiva. It should be Pashat, the person needs a, a waiter to hire a waiter for a Simcha, and the way a Friar that lives far from the Shul is going to drive to the Shul. That's a real Fnaiva. Now, you'll say, I died to the nafshe. I didn't tell him. He could walk. He could stay over, over Shabbos in the neighborhood. That is no shaykhaz. By a goyish shuwaita, I died to the nafshe is a heta. By a yid, there's no such heta. And again, usually we encourage people to take Yiddish workers, Yiddish waiters. Shabbos, to take a friar worker, is fraught with problems of naiva. He might drive, he might do malachas in the, the shul, in the, the shul or the catering hall. A yid is better than a goy, like be kashis also, but again, to have a fry away, you have to be careful, it shouldn't be lifna either. I know of a Maisa Shahaya, someone was going from here to Muncie, and there was a lot of traffic, and he made a calculation, if he ever gets to Muncie on time, the driver's going to have to drive back, and he's a fry driver. So basically, by continuing going, he's going to make the driver drive back, and the driver's not staying in Muncie for Shabbos, trust me. So he's told the driver, get off the nearest exit, drop me off, I'll pay you the full fare, and go home and keep Shabbos. Now the embassies sound like a grace of Tzitkis, but the embassies maybe not such a big Tzitkis. You pull into Muncie five minutes before this man, what are you thinking? What's he going to do? Staying in Muncie? He's not staying in Muncie. So he's going to drive back. So that Lamaisa is, is a form of Lefneiva. I mean, that's lav dafka, such an extreme case. A person needs a car, he has to go to, uh, locally, he calls a car service. A friar person pulls up, drops him off five minutes before this man, I got, I got to my destination before Shabbos. And what about the driver? So this l'chayra is in the form of naiva, because you called him, he has to drive back. Now also, there's another problem you have to realize, and a terrible message is being sent unintentionally. You know what we're saying? We're going to throw stones if you, Mechal uh, Shabbos. But if I need you, I'll turn a blind eye. I'll, I'm not going to look at you. Drop me off and do what you want. Let me do what you want. I thought it bothers you. It sends a message that we really don't care what you do, unless it spares me. If it helps me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll overlook it. So that's a Chil Kedushas, Kovit Shabbos. You know, if we 
we cause someone to do it and we just overlook it, be very, very careful. And that I saw Taka the Orlitzia and the Chalik Beis, Tazayin Zayin and Hilcha Shabbos B'Shabbos, they both write the Doyle Oilam or Masriya, they warned about this, you call a car service, especially near Yitzro, it's Ma'is Michal Shabbos, a lot of people, are, a lot of the drivers are fried, just made it with his man. And what about the driver? So that's a form of naiva. Rabbi Shalim Zalma was asked, and this is in Shmir HaShabbos, Perik Mem, Ha'or Olamet Beis, a sticky question. A person needed a doctor, and it was like a Safek Bikuch Nefesh. Who should he call, a Frimah doctor or a Freyah doctor? So we impulsively didn't call a Freyah doctor, but it's not true. The Freyah doctor, the more, the more than he needs, the Frimah doctor will keep Shabbos and getting a mitzvah. But Shalim Zalman took a step further. Lamai said that there's only a Freyah doctor available. And you need him. But he's going to end up writing a report and doing this and doing that. Can I take him if I know he's going to do more than Pekuach Nefesh? So Avadi can tell him, don't do it, but he's not going to listen. So Epsilon Bezalman and that Shmir HaShabbos says, In other words, you have to do your Pekuach Nefesh. What he does, you told him not to. He has a very interesting raya. He says, let's say a person owes me money. Okay, so he has to pay. And he doesn't want to pay. So he says, you know what? If you're going to make me pay, I'm going to be mechar from a gadav. I'm warning you right now. I'm going to do it. If you make me pay, I'm going to be mechar from a gadav. So, can I let him exploit me? Or can I say, pay up? Be mechar if you've got to pay me. Or has another muscle. A, a person puts in an alarm system in his house to protect his house. Now, what happens if his, he's a shlemazel and a, goy, a, a fry, a ganav comes to his house and the bell starts to ring and the police start to come? So, with Neva, so maybe don't put an alarm system, maybe I'll be a friar Ganif. No, Israel is more common. The terror says there's got to be a point that, you know, Atkan, this is how the Taylor Russia. And that's the truth. Sometimes it's just not our fault. And that's one of them. You tell a doctor to do Pekuach Nefesh, what he does on his own is not my business. But what's my ridic, the, the Paiskim had this in Eretz Israel. Now, again, this is I'm talking about in a legitimate situation. When Gedele Oilam demanded that they make a Havgana because of Shmir Shabbos, and Daf could do it on Shabbos. Now, why on Shabbos? You'll have to go to Israel to know why, but it has to be done on Shabbos. Someone asked Rabbi Yashav, this is in the Chuvis, Chalik Aleph, Mem Dalid, what about Lefneiva? You're making an Afghana for Kedusha Shabbos, hundreds of police and press and reporters are coming to, to watch the, and to be care and, and to, to monitor the situation. What about Lefneiva? So he says, I am a real diskin that says when you're doing your mitzvah, whatever happens is not your responsibility. Now, the real diskin is a chiddish nifla, but I'll mention in Kunch Zach and Simon Kuf Mem Hey, famous Gemara in the beginning of Ksub is that Pasul and he says, but the problem is that the Hegman was Mazana with the Yiddish girls and they were Mice and Nefesh, so they start making the chas on Wednesday. Frag the Gemara, tell the Yiddish girls that it's not Yarek Vayava, Karka Oilam is not Yarek Vayava. So let them get married to keep the Takanas Chazal. Frege B'Shu Uleib Diskin, not Shuva. What do you mean? Okay, it's not Yorg Vayavar, but she's being Machshul the Hegmoin, a guy in a Gimachamurais of Znus. So it's with Naiva. So Frege B'Shu Uleib, if you're doing your, your mitzvah, Takanas Chazal, and they do an Avera, there's no Lef Naiva. Where are the Okay, we have to discuss that a different time when that applies. But Rabbi Yashiv held, that's what's Negeya for Havgana. The Gedele Oilam say, Gomeka Havgana, if they're Machal Shabbos, Halitayu Le Rosh Now he doesn't say that Loshin, but Rav Sternbrook and Chaylik Aleph, Tafsaf, Membez, does say that regarding Havgana's Mamish, you do what Gedele Yisrael tell you to do, what they do, if they come, Halitayu Le Rosh the big question is when you have a person puts a vending machine or a uh, laundromat, he has a people own real estate, they own apartment buildings, and they have to, you have to supply for your uh, tenants. They put washers and dryers in the basement. What do you do if you have Yiddish people, Friya, that buy things from the machine, or make, make laundry on Shabbos, or Yom Tov, of course? Is that Lefne Eva? So the good news is, if it's Roiv Akum, so then it's Mutta. That's the Ferris Gemara. Ayit comes, that's not my business. That's not a Michshel. Roiv Goyim. Rabbi Shleim Zalman in Shmir Shabbos, Chav Tes, Chav Tes, he says an interesting Chiddush, and Hora Ayin Hey, 
And he says that even if it's Rav Yisrael, Laid in Eretz Yisrael, this is very common, but he says a vending machine is like a para chayreshes, like we said earlier, like a para, that you could do what you want. You could do a fast of a heta. A vending machine that you could buy during the week, not on Shabbos. You can make lunch during the week. Now the truth is, this is a big chiddush. Because para chayreshes, pshat is you could always use it beheta. Shecht it, finished. But a vending machine, you could use it for Issa and for Heta. It's not a stereo. Who said that that's considered a Tliya that only used it for Heta? It's not true, because Shabbos is Kula Yisa. But his Chiddush is that since it can be used only during the week and not on Shabbos, that would be a form of Tliya. But Lamaisa, when you have Roy of Yisrael, it's tackled, with Arab Islam, it's almost big chiddish, the Pais can say it's awesome because it's Roy of Yisrael. Okay, you want to find Stodim that if it's a, if you could buy something elsewhere, so it's no longer tray, if the Nahara, it's like a Messiaya, and the Shachs in Kufnun Aleph says Messiaya by a Mumma, Sitkot Nvav is not also, that's a different sugya. But if it's Roy of Yisrael, it's taka an issue to leave a machine open when there's Roy of Yisrael. Should not be done on Shabbos or Yom Tif, because that's Lechar Lef Naiva. The website is much more of an issue, Mitzar Echod, because there it's open to the world. But Lamaisa, again, the same basic principle applies that if indeed it's Roiv Akum, your clientele is Roiv Akum, Roiv Akum, you have a head to based on a Gemara. If a Yid comes Nebuch, that's his problem. The question is, if someone has Lamashal, he sells Judaic or Jewish gifts and on, on a website, so that's probably Rav Yisrael. And Enechanami, that's the same problem like we mentioned, like Abshtayim Zalman, you have his het of, it's like a part of Chayrashas, but if you know it's Rav Yisrael and Shabbos and Yom Tev is enabling a year to do an Avera, that's a big Tzorach Okay, you know, closing a website is, is a big job, but it's like, can I mention, Gavaldi Kiddush Hashem, the B&H company that closes on Shabbos, to avoid this issue, but la'alacha, there are something to when applicable. Moving on to Yeridea, it's Pashat Kipshuta, he's selling Avoy Dezara to a Yid or to a guy. He's Lifna'iva, no Pshal about it. That's the Gemara that we mentioned in Psachim Chav Beis. Grada for, to sell Avoy Dezara for a Yid is another, an issue that's much worse, and that's Hanaf Avoy Dezara. That's an issue that I said, Hanaf Avoy Dezara. Selling crosses, the, the Paiskim assume, is enough associated with Avay Dezara that shouldn't be sold to a Yid or to a guy. Some are makers, only a symbol, but we assume Badera Klal, a cross considered Avay Dezara. The a very challenging question, which Nebuch is Negei in many different instances, is regarding both parents or Mechanchem, when you have to discipline a child or a Talmud, and you're afraid that he's not going to be happy with that discipline and he will react in a bad way. What's the shayla? This is one of our Gemaras. In my cotton daf Yudzayin, the Gemara says clearly that if someone hits a child and the child will hit back, pardon me, that's the fnaiv on the, on the father, he has to be put in khair. And this is Gepasen Yardeh Kuf Chaf Siv Chaf. But what's interesting is that the Gemara says, that's what, the, that the Pasif Naiva is talking about hitting a child. There was a plea at me, how did the Gemara know that's the Pasif talking about? So I want to add a Dov Nifla Ma'oid, the Sefer Chassidim, Tav Kuf Samachay, and again, in Tav Kuf Samach Vav, and the Archaim HaKadosh, you test Gimel, so this come out the same you say, say a Dov Nifla. It says, Ish, Lashen Yachid, Imai Va'avav Tiro, Lashen Rabbim. Why the inconsistency? Zot the Sefer Chassidim, one of the Rishonim, the Torah Gadosh is talking to the Ish and the Aviv and the Imai Tiro. Zot the Sefer Chassidim, talking to the son, respect your parents. Talking to the father and mother, don't hit an older son because he might hit back. Ish is a big boy. Don't hit a big boy, he's going to hit back. So to me, it came out of Chiddush Gadol. That the Pasik Ish Im Avitiro is also saying an Issa the Rais of a Fneiva. Ah, Oi Bazoi, the Fneiva, Bamaka Benaya Godla, Kasim Medaber. Where? A few Psukim earlier in the same parsha, Ish Im Avitiro and the Fneiva. That's what I think. But anyhow, this is 
gives a lot of pause to when mechanach children or talmidim. A person could be do, try, trying to mechanach his son or talmid, and he gets an averid of naiva. I'll say, okay, so boys, so I'll hit my girls. So zakti in Yaakov, no, no, no. Diva kasev b'hoiva, because with your son you have to teach him to learn, and you have to hit him a mold. Or your son is, uh, you know, a little more scared of you, uh, not so scared of you like a girl. Or he says, a girl is usually gets married earlier, so it's not your problem. Or they don't hit back as much as boys. But who are dinbas? Number one. Also, it's Lav Dafka son. The Alkafan Kelim in a letter says it's who are din. Talmud, the same thing. They have a He's going to react in a bad way. Also, it's, it's even if you're mechanech, L'shem chinuch. You're doing a mitzvah, true, but look what's happening. It's not working, obviously, if it's causing the naiva. And the, the ritva on that gemar, and where cut and says the fairish, even if you're hitting him l'shem mitzvah. But the beat, it's not working. Wake up. It's not working. The, also, it's lav dafka that the is is only if the son hits back physically. The Sefer Chassidim says he's going to curse you. The Ritva on that Gemara says, Yasris Kenegde Bedibor. I don't want to touch that, but we see that. The Stechemet, Merchizvav, Chavav, Yedal, Klar, it's Lav, Dafka, the sun will hit back. Any inappropriate response is a violation of Ish Imav of Tiro. I, the Shulchan Aruch, the Ramah, in Reish Mem Siv Chof, quoting the Gemara Kamat, says the Issa is negated to a son of 22 years old or 24, that's true, but neither our children today believe in Ziza Magdimin, and they, at a younger age they respond negatively. And the Ritva, again, the Birka Yosef quotes the Ritva, HaKol Lofi Tivoy, a younger child that, that responds uh, with Chutzpah, is the same with Naiva. And today our children, you don't have to wait for 22, 24. And all the pais can say loved after that age. And this is an issue. So, so I would like to ask, How do you mechanach children? So the emphasis, is, the first step is, if it's not working, stop. And someone told me a story, he knows me personally, he came to the stipe, he said, my son is being over on Essen and Lavan on a, a daily basis. So it was hard for what, what do you mean? I tell him, I tell him, he doesn't listen. So the stipler says, what's with you? <laughs> Don't tell him. You know, it's not working. You know, it's not working. Stop. You know, if we forget there's a Yeridea Reish Mem, Yotes, Osel, Odom, Hachbet, Ule, Albanov. Don't be imposing. Don't be domineering. And don't tell him what to do. He's not listening. If it's not working, then you've got to find a different alternative. But it's not just it's not working. It's backfiring. It's the naiva. And a lot to say, but uh, we'll think for a different time. But as a Nissan Karelitz was an Eidola, a Yidwe, a Gavaldigim Messoira, he writes very strongly about this. We have to be careful today. The children are not as, as responsive as they're supposed to be when they give them Muslim. He says, You talk to an older child, you get involved with his, a married child's life, that's Mamash Lefneiva. He's not going to hit back, but he's going to get angry. He's going to you know, say bad things. So that's for a different schmooze. But it, if it's not working, so not only is it not working, it's Lefneiva. So the only ray of hope that I see is, number one, if the child might listen, once you reduce it to a suffix, suffix with an evis mutter, okay. Or, which is more probable when a child is too young to appreciate, and his response is a childish response, so it's not an issa. You know, you hit a, you hit a, a two-year-old, he hits you back, right? So that's an eva. There it is, a kindish response. So at some age, you have to discipline a child. But there's no doubt about it, we have to stress this more and more, that hitting or disciplining a child that is not working, besides that it's not working and just causing a terrible rift between parent and child is also the fneiva. On those lines, I want to mention also, you ask a question to a child or a Talmud and he's so scared to say the truth, he's going to lie. No, that's the fneiva. Avada, there's no quite a question about it. To say, V'chassidim tafsaf reish samach beis gives a marshal. You see two people whispering, and you say, what did you, what did you say? He says, don't do that, because he's going to lie to you, and you're evil of naiva. That's the naiva. The only thing I did see, a gewaldige yesoi, the advaz in chelik dal, it's in elef reish chav gimel, has the following shayla. Someone 
owes you money. And he denies it. So you're making him make a shvua. But you know he's going to make a shvua shove. Are you allowed to tell him, make a shvua? Because you owe me the money. So he says, yes. I lift naiva. So he doesn't spell out naiva, but he says, but on this we say, halitayla roshaviyamais. And don't forget that there's a concept of din, yik of din asahar. If, if, if every ganif and every inch of knows that he's going to hide behind his, this problem, so then he could be exploiting every din tyra. And there goes din tyra. There has to be a certain sense of mishpat. So he's going to hide behind the shvu ashav, then the whole system won't work. So that's the exceptional case. But basically the klal is, don't ask a child, someone doesn't have to lie. Someone just told me a story in a, in a school, they sent out a questionnaire. And 90% of the children admitted that they were lying because they were afraid to write the truth. So how do you give out such a questionnaire? And your mom is just naive. The question that someone asked me, had a nebuchadnezzar in his work, there was a, a, a ganif, and he was chayish, one of the yidin. So he wanted to make a setup. He'll put some money in a certain room and tell the, that worker to go there to do some work there. And he'll spot the money. And if he's a ganif, he'll take it. He'll know that's the ganif. The problem is lifneiva. So zok the tayr lishma. That's taka true. And Simon tez sof zayin. He has this shail and he says that's the gemara in kedushin that we mentioned. He was testing his son to see if he's gonna get angry. And what does the gemara say? Lifneiva. That's lifneiva. Achrein chava. I guess we can sum it all up with this ma'isa shahaya. Someone gave wine to another to drink. A lifneiva with all the of kiss. But the Nazar was clumsy and dropped the wine and he didn't drink it. Was the machshil oiv on lifneiva? I made up the story, but it's a ma'isa shahaya. <laughs> but I saw the, the Yad Malachai in, in Mariach Islam at Simon Shin Samach Zayin has this very shayla. If you gave a ma'isa michshil, but never happened the Issa. So he says, Be'emes uvesamim, this is an Issa deraisa. Because the Torah says, Lo yisite michshol nesina kapad rachmana. And he brings a rai from a gemara that we'll appreciate. Mayit katan, daf yud zayin, that as soon as Amsa the Rebbe saw this fellow hitting his son, she gave him, put him a cherem. Ah, he didn't hit back yet. Also, gemara kedushin. Gemara kedushin that we mentioned says, he said, you're oivah fneiva. Why? How do you know he's doing an avera? And also, bava metzia, ayin hey, you lend money to someone, you know, he's going to deny on the spot. The terrorist doesn't make a chilek. The ma'isa michshul is awesome. I would almost give a marshal, like a maces or madiach, even though the person didn't buy into it, but it's the ma'isa is awesome. Or better yet, it's like an eitz shayin ha'igenes. And taka, most place can say the enechanami. Stay chemed, merches vav, taka says, the issi is the nesina. Now the pre-yitzchik in chilek bey, simen mem tes, one is, is that really an issa if there's no issa took place? But the answer, like most Paiskim, is yes. Don't give a michshel. So this is the beauty of the whole sugya. If you give someone a michshel, but it's a, in, in the original situation was, it's a, a, a it's not, pa, it, it's not a roiv. It's, it, it's almost like a miya chain, a mati, and he does the avera, you're not oiva. Le'idach, you gave him a michshel, and he didn't do an avera at all, you over why? Because the is is lifne eva laisitain michshol. I got to talk to you all. I'd like to thank Rabbi Smith for the wonderful share. Rabbi Smith, you gave us the opposite of lifne eva. You gave us gewaltige shiurim and machayid oilam. That's the gewaltige oilam machazem et oilam haba. Ah, kheim kheyene varichemenu. And b'chama kasha imer. Also, could you talk about the fact that you're going to be here with the Mitzvah? I'm going to go to the Mitzvah. I'm going to go to the Mitzvah. Amen. Amen.
Next week, Hanukkah, Mehta Shem, the will be the same time, 1.30. Mehta Shem. Tomorrow, 1.30, the will be through Harava, Goyra, Mehta Shem, Vozna. The Sikkim of today's Shia will be right after Mincha, Mehta Shem. Mincha.